All right, let's do this. Uh, mm, I want a pan. No, no, no. Yes, no. Yes and no. I want a shovel. Okay, I've been trying this build out. I've been trying it for a little bit. I know I look like I know I look dumb. Stop judging me, okay? But I've been trying this build out for a little bit. And I think I got it down packed, and I need I need a shovel. Getting this broom on the sale is very very nice. Getting this on the sale is also very nice. I do want stones, but I don't know if I want to buy stones. If I'm getting a shovel. The shovel's gonna give me stones anyway, so like, I'm still gonna buy it. Give me, oh, uh, what do I do here? I need a, hmm, I think what we're going to do is probably get this wooden sword and this pocket sand. Or should I get the wooden sword and the banana? Wooden sword and banana is probably a better play than pocket sand, right? Only reason why I say pocket sand because it's a nature item on sale, it's gonna, ha it's gonna benefit the broom, you know? Um, but the banana can be used for stamina once I use this sword. And I think that's just a better play. I think that is just a better play. We'll do a situation like this. Um, 1.4 with the B Nans, double DPS. I'm gonna reserve this just because I want it. Just because I want it. I see it. It's one gold. We're probably gonna win this just because Poi doesn't have a second DPS. So yeah, we're taking that home. Very nice. Very, very nice. Um not a bad round, actually. Kinda ish. We'll see. We'll see. I do need to get all three of those, actually. Roll one time. Stamps, where's my shell? I need my shell. I'm trying to get myself a shell totem. Um, we'll get space. I think what I want to do is something like this. I don't know if I should include this uh, extra DPS just because of the sake of stamina. I actually don't know if that's a good choice. I mean, if I do take it out, the only thing I put in is probably healing herb in pocket sand, or maybe I can replace it with forging hammer. It doesn't use up stamina. It's only a 0.4 damage a second less. So we'll take that, uses up less stamina, less damage, but less stamina, more time for the higher DPS items to actually start hitting things. They got a pretty solid build. Hopefully, and now we lose this, we lose this. Yeah, we lose this. That's fine though, that's fine though. We get our combination. I'm gonna get a shell. Nice. Ding, give me this, give me that. Um, Do I need anything else here? Probably should get this bag of stones. So then that's another form of DPS that we're going to be utilizing, which is great. I'm going to get this uh, fanny pack as well. Probably going to get that next round. We can get a combination here. Uh, uh, we got to figure something out here. Um, no, I don't want to move you there. I don't want to move you there. I can do this like that. Banana can go here or better yet there, there. All right, that's way better. That's way better. That's way, way better. I like the setup. And of course, we're going to get the forging hammer. I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like the spikes at all. Do we lose? I think we do. Berserker mode for them. Yeah. What is it? What is that? Round three? Getting down round three is insane. Give me this. We have eight gold left over. I do want at least two healing herbs. So that's why I'm picking that up. But after that, I should be fine with healing herbs. I don't I don't think I need a uh, I don't think I need any more healing herbs. Um P's gotta go somewhere. Healing herbs gotta go somewhere. This can go there, this can go there. Actually, this can go down here. And then this can just go up there to make that faster. And I got two goals, so I'm a roll. Not a horrible roll. What do I do here? I could actually invest into oil lamp. That'll just help with DPS, which wouldn't be bad, right? We need to get this mana ore regardless of what happens. And space is always a good choice. We're getting 10, 11 gold next round, which we can get this and probably just leather bag. And then we just hold on to the mana ore, possibly. I think that might be good. Um. Infinite DPS scaling, something we don't have, unfortunately. We'll see what happens here, though. We got better healing than they do, and we got better DPS than they do. They just have infinite DPS scaling. That's the only issue here. Um, but, I mean, with us not even proccing Berserk mode, and they're already almost dead, that's the game. That is game. Good game. Okay, yeah, let's get you and you, like I said, and then we'll just reserve that, save it for next round. This can go... Uh... Um... Do I want it inside of the duffel bag or not? I actually don't know. I mean, I'd have to do this, right? And then I could just move everything up by one and then put this guy, or you know what? Maybe this is better. The 2.5. It's 1.2 damage a second versus one damage a second. So yeah, that's, that's probably way better. All right, we'll just keep it like this. I like this setup. Infinite DPS scaling now, double infinite DPS scaling, technically. 
if you count the shell totem they got a health potion that's some things i need as a health potion another person with the spikes is scary because spikes in general is just scary so far so good though we'll see what happens because they do have infinite dps scaling with their spikes um they popped their health potion the blind on on them is really helping us out a lot okay that blind helped so much right there good game that helped so much give me this do i pick this up i'm gonna pick it up just in case you never know you might get a good roll um we kind of do need space also need to incorporate this other stone so i guess we're just gonna do something like this get stamina sack next round i don't think that's horrible the more space the better at the end of the day no mana generation for his magic staff that is good for us um but that he's got a lot of dps though that starting dps on that magic staff is nasty very very nasty we'll see what happens though now nah, we lose this critting me for 16 damage that's fine though good game give me this first health potion is great i'm gonna I'm a god I'm gonna I'm I'm get that um roll more time Oof. another mana orb is pretty solid as well we need to get ourselves the uh the, uh the thirst though that's what we really need right now is the thirst that's what we really 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 need hopefully we can get that i'll we'll just put that there i think i'm gonna just put that there i mean i could do this that doesn't hurt me yeah we could just do that that works yeah that works honestly i might just sell the customer card i don't really well i don't know maybe i don't i'll keep it i'll keep the customer card i'll keep the customer card okay next round oh no next round is gonna be dinara because the next round is when we get our class item and uh yeah we're going against rumiru my friend <laughs> I love your name. <laughs> no, that's actually dope. Reminds me of the anime. Um, but they don't seem like they have a great setup going on. I mean, they got infinite DPS scaling with the burning torch, but other than that, they're not very strong. You know what I mean? We have freaking oil lamp. We're hitting for 15 to 18 damage. Not to mention berserker mode just proc for us. How are we losing? Okay, nice 20 hit. Nice 20 hit. Okay, so ding, we're getting chieftain. We have to get space. I'm gonna just drop 10 gold on that. Let's put you on the play. Let me get a roll here. Come on. Do I just sell for axe? I'm gonna reserve it. Oof. Four gold. Yeah, I'm just I'm gonna just sell it for axe. Just because it's just better, better DPS right now versus the shovel. Um, which I think is just gonna be better. Even though we're not getting lucky with the items that we actually kind of do need right now. Hopefully we'll be okay. I think I also want to rearrange. We might with double magic, uh, with double mana orb, we might actually get a mana orb proc. And those buffs, the buffs we get from that could could help. They they definitely could help in getting a win. So I think we try to somehow, some way, try to prioritize getting the uh, the magic orb here as the proc. Um, which I mean, I guess we could do something like this, and maybe put chieftain on that side maybe or i mean maybe just banana not to mention we do have a second one here that we also could try to get the proc it's like we're trying to like pretty much just w king the mana orbs as fast as possible um because if they proc then that's good for us really really good i wonder if i could like that's not horrible i mean that leaves us two more stars talk as stars which we could do this and that um, and yeah, I mean, yeah. And everything else can be like, boom, boom, boom. Not to mention we got double jewels that we got from uh, Shovel Dude as well. So that's good. Getting that next round. Okay, this isn't looking horrible. This isn't looking horrible. Versus a Bloodthorn. I do not like going against Bloodthorns. On the bright side, he doesn't have anything like infinite, nothing scaling or anything like that. So his DPS is pretty limited. Um, while ours is just infinitely scaling um so hopefully we'll be fine especially with the healing that we're gonna get from the dear guardian here and then mana or proc right about now how in the world did we lose so much health we barely won and they have 14 to 18 damage while we are 27 to 30. i guess just mr struggles we barely won that we need to change this around this round here nice that's exactly that's exactly what we need that is exactly precisely exquisitely what we needed that round um can i get another one no that's fine though i probably should just pick up the stamina sack i think that's exactly what i'm gonna do we're gonna pick up the stamina sack because i need space anyways at the end of the day so we're just gonna pick that up and we could put blueberry here 
but I do want to get myself a um, a magic or a mana mana thirst. So we need to figure that out real quick. Um, which I guess I could like. I guess I could like move this down. Maybe or because then I can move that up. That can go there. We're missing out on one activator. But I mean. I mean, I guess I could do this, move this here and have that as an activator now. I can move this and put that up there. Um, and yeah, we'll go with that. We have to really try to hung get another hungry blade next round though, I think. Another freaking thorn whip. At least it's not the flaming one. At least there's that. Code might be an issue though, because uh, spell scrolls even, but I mean, they do expire, so that's good. Out of stamina? Oh yeah, you don't have stamina except this uh, Beanans. Okay, we might win this Deer War Guardian for the win. Hell yeah. Let's go. That's game. Good game. Good game. Good game. Another freaking... Wow. Kind of getting lucky with those. Now, if I could just get me like one more thirsty boy. Hello. I should... I, I need to buy this. We don't pass this up here. Oh yeah, we sell Shell Totem. Perfect thing to sell. Getting this. There's a Mana Thirst. Um, we're going to get you right there. Um, I guess we'll just put you wherever we want and that'll just work. We, the lack of mana potions is kind of concerning, but I mean, our mana thirst situation is looking pretty good. Plus the mana ores, which is looking pretty good as well. We should be able to get another mana ore proc here going against a hero longsword with a shell totems is dressing with a bag of stones proccing now 10 vampirism. That's game. That's game. I think we win. Hopefully our deer wood should be better than their deer wood. Yeah. And then we got another proc there at the end. Yes. Good game. Yes. Shop is massive. Um, we sell. Think about selling oil lamp, but I think that's a bad choice. I don't want to sell a stone. I could just get rid of the bag of stones. Maybe. I think most of our DPS probably isn't even coming from the bag of stones. We don't need shiny shell totem though. I don't, I don't know what to sell here. Cause I want this. Do I need to sell anything? We got a lot of empty slots here. Maybe we don't need to sell anything. We'll see. If we do, we do. But if we don't, then that'll be great. But we'll see. Um, all right, let's go ahead and set this up. That goes there. This goes there. This is going to go right dab slab in the middle. That's going to go there. I could move this. No, nah, no. Nah, we're just going to keep it like that. No, actually. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see we'll see we'll see um yeah we'll see yeah okay i'm just gonna put you here maybe i might move this around a little bit potentially possibly very possible that i'm moving that around um i want to see where i could put this oil lamp i mean i could put it here like this isn't a horrible spot it's just not preferable you know what i mean not preferable that could be used as an activator though, so that's good. Even though I'm losing down on the slot over there, but maybe that's okay. Um, yeah, these can go up here. We got one blueberry, which do I want to do this? I actually don't know if I want to do this. Um, I guess I'll do it for now, just so I can double down on that, right? Um, and then this can go up here because that's another nature item. We're missing out on one more slot. Unless I move it, well, two more slots for nature items. Which I guess I could uh, just do this. And that just kind of works as far as the nature items go. And then we can just fill in the blanks with all the rest of these items. Something like that will work. Okay. I mean, I'm going to get this. Just because it's one. And I could just get, you know, even more healing at the end of the day. Okay, I mean, that's not horrible. It's not horrible. It's not horrible. Going against uh, Death Scythe with Cursed Dagger, Poison, Guru, Serpent Staff, Moon Shield. It's very interesting. And so far, it's not looking great for us. Berserker mode, though. With the healing, though. Let's go. With 84 poison on us at the end, we take that one home. Very good game. Another health potion is massive. Um, oh, Another... Bro. Bro, when a game knows what build you're doing... They look out for you. I'm telling you guys. When the game knows exactly what build you're actually trying to go for, the game looks out for you. 
I promise you the game looks out for you. Sometimes. Uh, <laughs> sometimes. Let's do this. And uh, I don't really like this, actually. I think I'm going to switch this. To... I don't like that either. <laughs> I don't like that either. It's... Uh... It'll be whatever. It's... Well... If I move this down by one, I would like it more. But I don't want to move it down by one. That's the thing. Um... Because mm, I want this blue berry on a star slot, but this also needs to activate that potion. You know what I mean? That's the that's the confuzzlement that I'm confuzzling right now. So if I did move this down one, then that would work. But I mean, that might be less slots for me for this situation. We'll try it. We'll try it. I'm just going to experiment a little bit. We'll try it. We'll, we'll just try it. We'll see what happens here. But yeah, so that's going to go there. This is it won't work anyways. Never mind. I, I, I give up. <laughs> I don't think it will work anyways. Whatever. Um, we're just gonna keep it like this though. So that can go there. This guy is missing out on a lot. Maybe well. Maybe I could just move this situation over here instead and do this. Like that. And that way I can move this back up here. Maybe. Yeah, this is probably better. I don't think that changed anything. But yeah, this is probably better. Um, That can go there. This can go over here. So that's five stars. We're missing out so much here, though. Then again, we do have a whole mana orb that's just here. I think I'm just going to put uh, you here. I think that's a little bit better. Yeah, and then these two can just go right there. That guy can go there, and then we can just do like that. Okay. I mean, this works for me. I'm gonna pick up the stone as well because, well, actually, maybe not. Maybe I don't need the stones. I have two pocket sands and two healing herbs and these two regular stones, not to mention the shiny shells. I think I'm fine on stones. I don't need any more stones. I'm fine on stones. Okay, why do you have four acorn collars? You really wanna crit some, I see. Cause Jesus Christ, you made me proc my berserker mode early and still lost. Still a four acorn callers, by the way, is absurd. Give me that. Definitely pick you up, get my space, and we're broke. <laughs> and we're broke. I'm gonna switch these fannies to this uh, weapon instead, and then we could just figure that out eventually. Um, moving both of those, like, well, actually, maybe I move it here. Cause I don't have any weapons up here. Like I don't have another mana thirst up in this situation, right? So instead, I maybe this is better actually. No, I don't like that. I think I'm just gonna keep it like this. I think this is a little bit better, to be honest. I might even move you down by one, like here, so that those stars can align for me. I think that's a little bit better. That can go there. This can go here. And as far as the mana items go, I can probably just move you here and give me some procings off of that, which is good. Um, and then that can go there. Um, that can go there. This can go there. That'll be good there. And I can move this down by one, put you here. Okay, this works, this works. Eventually I'm gonna sell these, the bag of stones. Eventually. Actually, maybe not. I need more mana items. So I think I should probably just W key mana items because that's really what we need, just more mana items. He's got mana generation. Man, he's got two books to go with it. We're gonna be super slow. We're already super slow. We might lose this actually. This is not looking great for us at all. He's critting us. Uh, we're healing though. Ah, 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 ah. Yeah, we lost. Damn. 72. 72 code is insane. Should I get a glowing crown? It's on sale. I'm gonna get it. Only because it's on sale. That is huge. Spike collar is also really big. Okay, so now we gotta rearrange yet again. So we're gonna move this back to like this. This can go here. Because that's going to be a combination. Well, no. Yes. 
Maybe I should keep this here, actually. Because it's still touching the uh, the Hungry Blade at the end of the day, which is kind of what we want. Yeah, maybe I should keep that like that. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and just sell this because I kind of want to... I think I want to utilize this space a little bit better. Um, yeah, I think I want to utilize the space a little bit better. Somehow. <laughs> Somehow. Is this better or... Well, probably. I get more star slots out of this. So now I guess I should just try to maximize the star slots with the nature items now, right? Even though I can't really move the shell totems. I'm still only missing one when we got a pocket sand here. So that's almost maxed out. That's pretty much maxed out. Even though it's not maxed out of mana items, it's still maxed out, right? Which isn't horrible. So yeah, okay. Maybe that glowing crown will help us out. Oof. Instaproc and glowing crown. And almost insta-killing him on his first health. This isn't an insta-kill build, by the way. I don't think Berserker is able to insta-kill. I just think it has really good survivability because of Deerwood Guardian. That's what I think. And we're destroying that guy, by the way. Jesus Christ. He got annihilated. How much health we got left? Or rounds? Four rounds left. I'm going to get this. Honestly, you might not even need... Well, Spike Caller can help. Because you are kind of depending on Berserker mode, right? So, Spike Caller can help. I'm looking at this DJ lamp. I can sell. I don't need this. I can sell that, get the DJ lamp. And roll a few times. Didn't get lucky on the rolls, unfortunately. But what I think I want to do is move this up now. And do this. So, I think that's just better. Yeah, I think that's just better. And maybe... Take one of these and put it here to do that. Maybe this is better, actually. I don't know. Because <laughs> that's more activations on the mana ores right there. Which means this guy would probably be better off here. Yeah. Yeah, I think that guy's better off right there. Yeah, okay, boom. Um, or better yet, maybe... Doing this? Is better? Just for the sake of mana items. That's the only thing I'm worried about around is mana items. Maybe this is better. And I could put that there, so that's even better activations. Um... And then I guess we'll move you two here. And then we could just W key nature items for this guy, which we kind of can't because we don't have a space right there. Yeah. Maybe this will be fine, though. I think this will be fine. I think this will be fine. I would love to get more blueberries. We need blueberries. I would love to get more mana potions, but I don't think that's going to happen. Instaprocking the crown is... Oh, my God. is interesting. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, though. All right, let's see what happens versus uh, 130 damage. Ooh, that hurt. Ooh, but we heal it right back. We heal it right back, bro. Gr busted blade hitting for 130 crits per hit is no match. No match for this build. Ooh, we got another one. That's huge. Um, Can I get lucky and get hungry blade? I did get lucky and got us freaking this guy, but I don't need you. That's the thing. I literally don't need you. Hmm. Only reason I'm saying that is because we don't have any blueberries. So it's kind of like... I don't need you. You know what I mean? Hmm. Um, maybe I moved the mana orbs? Maybe not. This is a sticky situation. We have a lot of Amplify healing, by the way. A lot of Amplify healing right now. If 
feel like I need to pick this up just in case because I might see a blueberry next round, you know? I don't need this. <laughs> I definitely just don't need that at all. I might just keep this here. I do want it to proc off of that, but I kind of don't care for it too. It's, it's not the end of the world. It's not the end of the world that doesn't proc off that. Unless I lose this, right, and then like everything I said was just BS. And it was the end of the world. <laughs> we'll see though. We'll see. It's definitely not. I mean, we have three of the freaking uber orbs. Yeah, definitely not the end of the world. Now, if I can get myself... I'm gonna get this. If I can get myself a blueberry here, that would be massive. No blueberry. Nothing I can use. Well, I mean, that is a fourth prismatic orb. I can definitely use that. But yeah, nothing I can use, unfortunately. But I think what I'm gonna do... I think we're gonna just start... Set, well, I don't really need this. I don't need you anymore. I don't need a spike collar, right? Yeah, I don't need a spike collar. I don't need a spike collar. And I'm gonna sell this too, and I'm gonna buy this. Because we're, we're gonna try to figure out a better situation than the situation we have now. That's the plan. That is the plan. I like this part of the situation we have, but I feel like it could be slightly better somehow. Somehow, some way. I'm just gonna move this down here. Okay, so. Um. We have a lot of stamina. <laughs> we have a lot of these things. This is probably not gonna be maxed out the way that I'm thinking right now. Like, it's more than likely, it just won't be maxed out. Because I'm gonna do that. Should I move this down? One, two, two. Okay, that's both two, which is good. Okay, I can even move it over and it still works. Only reason I want to do that is so I can do that. And that's going to be like a double proc off that guy, which I think will be good. Yeah, I think that'll be good. And we can maybe move this here just so that both of those are on there and then we could do that. And that just works. And the rest of the space can, I guess, just be for Deerwood Guardian, even though it's not gonna be maxed at all i mean what's the best this is probably the best spot like that's what five star slots that's four that is also five i guess we could do this and then boom 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 i guess i can upgrade you well then again that's gonna lose a star slot kind of ish kind of ish will lose a star slot but this is a Four prismatic orbs. <laughs> More mana potions would have been nice, but four prism prismatic orbs isn't bad, though. Uh-oh, that is a really nice looking build he's got going on here. Can we survive? Can we do enough DPS to kill this guy? Ooh, he's hurting us. Oh, no, we lose. We don't generate enough. Damn. We're hitting for crazy damage, though. <laughs> we have a lot of impact. Like, we're hitting for crazy bro this is a long battle i thought we were going to lose that battle usually when battles go on for a long period of time like that i usually lose but every time we reach just 20 mana we just kept getting stronger and stronger and stronger and stronger 30 damage a second 20 damage a second and 51 damage a second wow ours was just a straight empowerment if we just had some type of block generation we could have actually proc this dj lamp a shit ton of times i just did not w key block generation one flute one flute is all it takes that's how you make this build better by the way get a flute that's all you need is one singular flute you know what i mean and then proccing this three times in one battle having an 100 damage item you know what i mean you don't need it obviously as you've seen but like if you want it to go over the top there you go that's how you do it i don't even think we even entered deerwood guardian mode there i'm pretty sure we did it nah i don't need that that's how bold i am with this build I kind of do want to try it to see if we can get a proc off of this thing. I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it just to see if we can get a proc off of it. I think it'll be really cool if we can. And then we don't get any other items of interest. I'm just going to put you here and we can just move you like here. Like that'll just work. Selling you. Still nothing good. Um... Is there anything? Well, I guess I could move you here. Why were you here in the first place? What? 
Why were you over there anyways? <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, well, that's a thing. I'm trying to see if there's a better place I could put it. Just for the sake of like, because it's a magic item, so I'll get mana from it at the start of the game. The only other place I can think of is up here. And that affects like one of the one of the prismatic orbs. Which I guess isn't bad. It's not the end of the world. Honestly, well, it might be better if I move this situation like here. Well, yeah, it would be better if I had more freaking things. If I had more uh, mana potions, it would be better for sure. But I don't. So we'll just settle for this. All right, this works for me. This will work for me. Also, getting more Whopper Tingers will be good because the amount of buffs you have, you need stamina. Well, this is only a 1.1. If I had like another weapon, a Whopper Tinger would be really, really good. Less banana, more more Whopper Tingy. What are we going against? Okay. An uh, Insta uh, Mega Clover proccing, uh, Blood Goober with Claws of Attack and Bloodthorn, not to mention double Kappa Discomforts. He's also got double Mana Orbs, which he's probably going to be able to proc, and this is definitely going to be pro proccing as well. Pretty nice build. We'll see how we fare up against it. There's your insta proccing. We got 21 vampirism at the start of the game, by the way. 21 vampirism. When we get those 20 mana, it's over with. Now he might be able to burst me down though, to be fair. Oh, he procced my Deerwood Guardian. But hey, hey, that mana generation is crazy though. That mana generation is going crazy right now. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Come on, I need to heal. I need to heal again. Get up to two. There we go. There we go. What a crazy build. This works with Berserk. I'm surprised. I'm actually genuinely surprised. This actually works with Berserker. <laughs> because I was thinking like, you you really like, you really can't do a mana bomb, which I guess you could technically do a mana bomb. Only if you were to get like five or six of these mana magic or mana potions, you'd be at a mana bomb. But even so, it's still pretty damn good because of Deerwood Guardian. You know what I mean? That just two mana every second is really nice. Honestly, it just helps these proc way faster. You know what I mean? When you're in a dire situation like you just seen where I, I needed that. Like that was a close battle. That was a really close battle. This is 60 damage per second. This one's 18, but he's also got the blood goober. Double cap of discount fees as well. Nullifying our, our healing is reduced by 60%. Not to mention the, the buffs that, you know, 30% to notify a buff, which we get a lot of buffs even though you know, I mean, even so with that, we still got a lot of us and ended up taking a W there. Speaking of, I wonder how much we did heal. Did I see a 500? Yeah, 500 hit from uh, Vampirism and then just that, uh, I don't know, four or something, I don't know. But that much um, from um, from Mana Thirst is nutty. And then damage dealt 300, 300, 300 across the board. Man, with double cap of discounts, by the way. Double cap of discounts, which is pretty insane. Pretty crazy. But yeah, this was a good game. I'm glad this works with Berserker. Um, I'm, I, I want to try to make this work with every class. I think that's my goal now. Try to make this work with every class and see if it just can before they nerf it, if they will. Who knows? But yeah, I appreciate you guys watching as always. Thank you so much. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys on the next video. You guys have a good day.